Hello everyone, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 7 Hector Heart Mode. Today we're playing Chapter 25, Crazed Beast, which uh, is the first time I'm playing this map because this is Hector Mode exclusive, or Hector Heart Mode exclusive. Is it? I, I don't remember exactly if it's Hector Mode exclusive or Hector Heart Mode exclusive, but either way I haven't played it. So yeah, um, you actually get a lot of units this map, so uh, we got a couple of extra guys like Isadora and uh, Guy over here but yeah the point of this map is basically to uh, capture all three of these uh, castles forts and this game this level actually throws a lot of interesting things at you a bunch of ballistas a couple of annoying Pexes and Knights which I've recently been playing uh, a lot of uh, free houses in which the Pegasus Knights in those games are way more dangerous than in this game, so So we don't have to worry as much to them, but they can still uh, be annoying and hurt our frail units So I think I'm gonna start by taking this area and then slowly move up over here to then go over here If I am correct, most of these are steel axes. I think one of these guys is like a sword weaver. That guy's a halberd, but he can't reach yet. Those guys have both have halberds, so we have to watch out uh, with our. Uh... We have to watch out a bit with like uh, low one over there. I believe we want to go down here because over here I believe Farna spawns in, who is recruitable in this map. You know, I haven't played in a bit, so I might be a bit rusty here. Just a heads up. Yeah, I'll throw you just in there to get hit by these guys. I don't think the ballistas actually do too much damage, but I can kind of want to just, uh, I'm kind of just hoping that the uh, Pexus Knight just kind of suicide into Marcus so that we don't have to deal with those guys. So having never played this map, I'm not sure how this map is going to go, honestly. Like, I've seen a couple of playthroughs of Hector Hard Mode, but it's always... These later chapters are a bit more hazy than the others. But, uh... Also, I've been playing a, a, a lot of free houses again recently, and that game is so much different than this one. Hey, a very nice critical hit right there. Particularly in, like, free houses very much uh, player phase heavy. And this game is very much enemy phase heavy. You know, I also realized that I kind of have to be uh, careful with not getting into this guy's perch dome. Or in his per perch range. Oh, yeah, that's really close, actually. Against these guys. 
do a lot of damage actually on me. Particularly on him, he doesn't really have. Yeah, he has terrible res actually. So, um, before anything, I'm actually gonna send Heath back a bit over here, at least until uh, a couple of these mages are gone. See, so, yeah, these guys are the three ones I have to worry about with low wind, so I'm just gonna place you over here. And like this, we can finish you off. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So I'll keep him here to just lure out the enemy. With this, we should still be in range of uh, all the ballistas. We can then just waste their ammo on shooting markers. Or at least I believe they do that. Or I mean, I believe in this game, ballistas do have a set amount of ammo. I'm not sure actually. That changes from game to game, honestly, so I wouldn't. I, 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 I sh you shouldn't quote me on this. Yeah, and even if they hit me, they do pretty negligible damage, honestly. Three also isn't very much. And that's divine, not even shine, so... Once the monks are gone... Oh, that sucks. That happens way too often, honestly. Very annoying, actually. Alright, let's just make sure we're not in his range. Hey, he actually can't hit me, that's nice. This guy can't either. Oh, right, we're barely in his range. Alright, that's a lot of Pegasus Knights suddenly. Well, Cavalier, sorry. All with Steel Lances. This guy's a Steel Lance. How much does he do with me? Holding my Hand Axe. Six. With almost no hit. So this would actually be, like... Totally fine. They can all just jump here and just get killed by me. Also, a whole bunch of uh, hammer. With like no hit on me. 
especially if I use the sword. So I think I'll just, yeah, do this. I, this is honestly perfectly fine. Hammer should have about the same hit rate. So yeah, a lot of reinforcements that aren't really dangerous. Of course, that guy is a bit more dangerous over there, but... Let's heal up Heath as well. I could... I could have attacked him there, but... Okay, I did not realize he would just come at me. I thought he was stationary, honestly. But considering he only has 36 hit, and even if he hit me there, I don't think we would have been in danger anyways. Although him dying actually uh, gets rid of a lot of the reinforcements, which is very nice. Yeah, no, they don't even have hit on me. They do weirdly have one crit, or at least the other guy did. This one just doesn't. These guys just all die instantly to Raven. Like I said, I just, I've been playing a lot of free houses and that's so much different in free houses. It's like your strongest unit might be able to take on like two or three enemies at a time. Manning, by the way, I've been playing manning mode. But here it's like, yeah, you know, you can just take on like 20 of these guys without taking any sort of damage. But you know, obviously the difference is that in uh, in free houses with the Divine Pulse, you're basically allowed to make big mistakes and you, you can just reset afterwards, or reset the turn afterwards. In this game, it's you're not that fortunate. And goodbye to the boss as well. In this game, you know, you make a mistake and you have to restart the whole chapter again. Hey, that came out perfectly. Alright, these guys have a bit more hits, so we might actually get hit a couple of times. Considering they all have steel lances except for the boss, I should probably just use the normal weapon. <laughs> Thanks for the free XP, I guess. Jesus, hey. Jesus! What the hell is this? Alright, how much does the boss do against me? If he hits me, he does 17 damage. Yeah, I guess it's time to just use up the rest of my hand axe. You know, it's not the good stats, but it's still stats. So it's not a bad level up.
All right, I think Isadora can just stay here. No, see, this guy is still probably like the biggest problem. You know what? This I should do. I should just put Karas here and just like make him use up all of his uh, siege stones. Yeah, just heal him up. Alright, rest in peace, mend. Alright, move you down a bit, because I don't really want you to uh, lure in those Pegasus Knights. I said Pegasus Knights, I mean... Uh, I mean Cavaliers. As well as the boss is gone, so that's two bosses gone. That's just a straight one shot, wow. I mean, they, these guys have 5 hit at the moment. Although I think their hit will increase to like 20 once my... Uh, because my hand axe is gone and I don't have the weapon triangle uh, advantage. Yeah, see that guy hit me. Although with 20%... I don't think enough guys will hit me to be in real danger here. Because with like true hit, instead of like 1 in 5 hitting me, it should be more close to like 1 in 10 hitting me. Although I suppose the risk with the Steel Lens is that, yeah, I'm killing everyone, so everyone also gets a turn against me. Although I don't think the guys in the back can reach yet. <laughs> you know what, I'll, I'll do you guys a favor and speed this up a bit. Alright. And far another side appear over there, a bit annoyingly. But yeah, moral of the story was that um, he got hit like, I think maybe once. He also gained a level in something, I don't know what he gained. But it's not that important. Um, did he now? I don't think he actually used his. I don't know if this guy is stationary though. That's kind of a problem. Alright, he doesn't move. Which is a bit annoying with like seeing what his actual ranges range is. Which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can just hit this guy. Yeah, you not having the thing is annoying though. 
So, um, I suppose I'll just give it to you. Nobody really needs to, uh, get healed up. Of course, I'll just keep the javelin so that uh, we don't kill too many people. And I suppose we'll just leave a bit of experience for some other guys. Yeah, maybe I should have probably used my flyers better to get like these guys maybe up here. Perhaps that would have been a good strategy, but... We can still do that, by the way, but... Alright, most of these guys are actually backing off. It's only the guys who haven't had a turn yet. Also, it seems like we got like a strength level up here, because now we are finishing them off with the javelin. Honestly, we've gotten actually through this map quite quickly. Like, on, we'll probably be able to defeat the remaining Pegasus or the remaining uh, Cavaliers next turn. Then it's just the uh, then it's just the uh, uh, Bishop. It's the Bishop. It's called Bishop. You're really pushing it. All right, so now we have the option to uh, buy Farna, which um, I think I'll do it for the sake of it, but it's arguably arguably if you want to actually do this. I'm not like I've never used her, so I want to pay for her, but I don't know if it's actually the best choice to make. If you're just going for beating the game. Or you know, you just don't have enough money for her. You think... Alright. Huh, well I guess we're not getting her because we don't have enough money, but... It's not the end of the world, honestly. Like, it, it's, it's really not the end of the world. What is your strength with Purge? 25 only. So this guy doesn't even hit that hard. Alright, here they have a 36 hit. But, you know, considering there's not that many left of these guys, I think we should be able to handle them. Um. Well, actually, there are a lot more of them now that I look at it again.
you know, um... That doesn't seem worth it. Like, the further I can go is here, but it doesn't reach. So, well, we kind of did that for nothing, so that's a bit unfortunate. This might be a bit risky. Luckily enough, not all of them are attacking me. Yeah, 40 hit is risky. This might... I think we'll be a bit lucky because I don't think... Like, I think half of them are in, like, retreat mode. But you know, if... Let's say like 50% of them hit, we probably would have died. A hey, weapon level increase. Which doesn't seem to improve our hit rate or something like that, but... Well, actually, our dot avoid, I mean. Hit rate has been 100 the whole time, I think. I don't know, actually, if weapon rank does anything else aside from being able to use specific weapons in this game, at least. And a point of speed. I probably would have preferred strength at this point, but, you know, it doesn't hurt, because it gives me more avoid. Alright, this guy can reach. He does 14, but has a chance to crit, so... It's honestly pretty risky. I mean, we can do this. Divine actually does less, so he should do 12. Although I'm... Yeah, I'll be in the range of the Ballista, so... I'm gonna move over here, and I... It's just barely not in the range, but... We can do this. And now, she is in range. And a level 4 uh, Priscilla. Alright, that guy still can't reach. Just stand here and let them just go after me. Yeah, and we're gonna have to wait one turn. It's just that I don't feel like risking it. Like, with 18, if a hit rate of 18, we're like super safe. Like, I thought the reinforcement would have stopped at this point already because we defeat the boss.
But this says that there can be like a potential 30 free reinforcements of this uh, of these guys. Which is kind of insane and overkill and that guy hit me but... We might have to back up with Marcus but that shouldn't be a big problem. Alright, steel lens broke, yes. Alright, it seems like the rest of these guys are all in like, healing modes. And these guys haven't, yet. Yeah, let's just finish one of these guys off. you have a hand it or me with javelin which I think also ends our javelin's life yep it does like yeah even if these guys can't even actually reach me say I don't think these three guys will actually target me it's just these guys just that one guy yeah this bullet has I think finished in ammunition So you should do like very little to a Kanas. And yeah, that guy can just kind of exist over there. Um, that'll do for now. That guy hitting is annoying. But yeah, they had to, like all three of them had to hit for me to have been in danger there. Of course, two of them do hit me, so... Right, another pirate bites the dust. Yeah, you know, this just kind of shows how it can still be risky because, like, we've been hit by three of the four thirty hit rates right there. All right, that brought these guys out. Two of these guys can hit me, but yeah, they have 12 and 11 hits, so they don't do any damage to Kanas, anyways. Enough, we have two heads here. The only thing is that Raven desperately needs some healing. All right, apparently, this guy can still hit.
But you know, this gets 20 avoid. Right, both our healers are over here, so that's actually kind of a problem. Probably shouldn't put you in danger. However, when it comes to reinforcements, I think... Hmm. If we don't hurry up, there will be a bunch of Pegasus Knights. Alright, I see what I, <laughs> I I see what my best strategy is to do with uh, these guys to just stand over here and just soak up a couple of hits. I see it is currently turn ten. Ah As I'm looking, uh, there actually shouldn't be any more uh, Pegasus Snatch reinforcements. The only reinforcements that still should appear is these monks. Which will go on for five turns. These guys also don't do any damage to you. Hey, it's Carla. And she gives you an Elysian Whip. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's hope uh, some resistance actually would be nice in this point. Hey, we got some resistance. Yeah, because most of these guys do either like 10 or 11. And like one guy does 12, these two guys do 12. It's just this guy. He has two more purges left to throw at us. So I'll keep you over here and uh, that should just be these monks. The only thing that's scary is that uh, the bishop has crit on Fiora, but this actually is a good opportunity to give Fiora a bit of uh, experience. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Alright, he decided to go for a... Uh, Kanaz, which is actually like... A good thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just want to get rid of you guy, uh, of this guy, but of course, no, you don't crit. Oh, you have your uh, next support, which is nice. Uh, I'll take that javelin off your hand and finish this guy off. Alright, one of the archers is gone. Just these two guys. Um, your resistance is a 10, so you should also not take too much damage. Awesome. That is a, like a genuinely perfect crit. So yeah, that should mean we could finish the level next turn. And considering like all the spawns aren't ambush spawns and these guys can barely not hit me. I think that should be it. Or you know this guy standing on the throne. That could annoyingly extend it for one more turn. So yeah, let's speed this up. Go level up. All right, not four guys decide to appear. Alright, sure, let's not finish him off. You know, that little bit of experience. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to get it. And that should be game. Hey, that's game. All right, everyone. That map that went, that went pretty well. I think the only like thing that didn't go well is the fact that we didn't get far enough. But it's fine. I don't think I was gonna use her anyways, and I probably I probably have more use for the money anyways. So if if you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out, and have a good night. Goodbye.